Hi everybody, all my followers, be welcome to another video. So the video today is on a 2009 Smart 2. Uh, the engine on this is the one liter petrol with 71 brake horsepower. And this came to me as a crank no start. I haven't tried the car yet. Uh, just literally got on the car and start recording so it's gonna get the key and confirm the complaint okay so that's it okay indeed it's cranking and it doesn't start we have two spanners there flashing not really sure how that might be because of the the service but definitely it doesn't start let's try a different key there is two keys so I've tried this one try the other one just in case yep crank no start uh, I can't even uh, feel any signs of try to firing it just rotates that's it, cranks, no start. So to start with, let's kind of plug, uh, once again, the RTPAD is still with me. Let's plug it in and see what we find out. Let's see if uh, ID is the car. Looks like it did, so it's a 451. Let's diagnose this. We have clear, but it's not like I can do really. Okay, uh, 4710. Let's see if that's correct. Yes, it's correct. That's a yes. Okay. System selection. Let's gonna go straight to engine. Let's see what we have. Clutch system fault, current and stored. Clutch system fault, current and stored. Okay. Clutch system fault. can see there reverse I can I can hear it yeah I can hear the the gear system uh, engaging gears clutch system fault okay will this prevent my engine from starting possibly on these little cars everything is possible okay um See there, engine sensors, engine speed, injection time, engine speed. Let me see if I have engine speed while cranking. No, I don't. See that? Oh, I had now. Wow, it took a little while. Oh, it's just the tool that is too slow. Okay, so. Okay, see, now I'm not cranking, and now it shows me <laughs> it's just the tool that is a little bit too slow. Let me, but it looks like we have. So, unfortunately, I can't pick up just one uh, PID. Now it just selects everything immediately. Okay, forget that. Let's go back. Okay. Do -do. It's for idle speed, isn't it? So, I'm sure that should be top dead center. Top said seed center. <laughs> okay, anyway, let's go back. Okay, let's go back. Uh, Fuel pump, let me see. That's very good. Should be F3, maybe. 
yep I can hear the pump I can hear the relay so that's good uh, do I have anything else here I think I have anything else here that would really makes okay so it's one fault code one fault code here is a little bit weird that fault code this is puzzle me a little bit because okay would might have a problem driving the car if the clutch was not working but it's allow me the car to start to crank sorry so it should bloody start let me try something here let me try to engage gear and try to crank now there we go. Okay, so if I engage gear, now it doesn't allow me to even crank. It doesn't crank. Okay, so now it flashes because obviously I'm trying to start the car. So if I turn the key to try to start the car, it starts flash. If I go to neutral, I even need to press the brake to take it out of gear. So neutral now, and it cranks. I don't know if you can hear it, but I'll make sure you do hear it. And it definitely cranks and I can smell petrol I can actually smell petrol so it might be that we have no spark okay let's stop try to guess that's gonna get our hands on it and try to figure out what's wrong and what we do have here okay fresh copper grease there throttle body area a lot of places that they are sort of like clean so someone has been definitely here quite recently I would say copper grease on these bolts on the head by the looks of it yeah it does have okay let me see if I can okay so these bolts are being freshly touched this is the bolts for the engine mounting, so this engine has been out, I would say recently, possibly, so, okay, okay, so, okay, 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 what am I going to do next, okay, uh, bolts missing on the airbox in there, as you may be seeing, okay, I don't even know exactly where I'm going to start with this, but, just bear with me, we're gonna maybe do a couple tests and try to see what we're gonna do. One of the first things I found was that one of the O2 sensors is unplugged. I can't even see the cable to be honest with you, so I'm gonna find the cable and plug it in. Although I doubt that would prevent the car from start. Um, I don't know what of this car, but bloody hell, look at that. There's brackets out of place, bolts missing. At the back, as I said, all the coil packs have no bolts. Um, cable ties, uh, cable uh, clamps not clamped. What a mess. I don't know if someone has been working in an attempt to fix it or if the car had some sort of repair and wh whoever was put it back was not doing, was not very keen on his uh, work. Anyway, before we move on, and although we already said that. Um, or I already said it looks like we have a sparking issue especially because of the fuel uh, smell uh, of fuel while I was uh, cranking and pushing the accelerator but just just to make sure we're gonna spray a bit of this and crank and see if anything changes And as you have seen, 
no joy. So at this moment, I really believe it's going to be a sparking issue. Although the tone of the engine kind of changed when the easy start got into the cylinders. Uh, it was a small change, but that could have been just because of the amount of... Um, uh, of the spray I put in but was no even attempt to start so let's uh, change our focus into the spark system okay let's test the first cylinder I'm sure you guys have seen that now let's gonna try Second coil. Okay. And let's gonna try the last coil. Okay. This coil is a little bit in the wrong place or through the wrong place. Okay, it looks like we are going to have spark on all of them. spark plugs and as you can see we do have spark so I'm really confused right now as what my problem is still I'm gonna take the other two spark plugs out just to inspect but I, I, I just don't know really uh, why it doesn't start and so we do have spark maybe be the fuel but I put some of the, that uh, easy start and it, it didn't even try to go so which you should do if we have the spark so I'm a little bit confused right now let's take the other spark plugs and uh, and see how they look like I don't know what work has been done on this car definitely the engine has been out 100% uh, but it looks like the car came from an auction so who knows what the problem is with this to be honest As you have seen, we have spark. We have spark on all three. So I would say, I would say I don't have a clue. I don't have a clue. Okay, so my next test is going to be compression. Now I don't have one of those gauge compression testers. I used to have one. I blew it because it was a petrol one and well long story short doesn't matter uh, but I'm gonna try to lend one uh, before that I think we might be able to do we might be able to do yeah I think we can do a relative compression test and actually go from there okay and I think the next logical step uh, before a relative compression test. The only reason why I'm doing this one, I've borrowed this uh, gauge. The reason why I'm doing this is because I would have to put the spark plugs, do a relative, then take them out to do one of these if the relative would be inconclusive. So I'm testing the first cylinder from the back of the car is the first cylinder on the right. So let's kind of crank the engine and see how much compression we do have. That is definitely not good. So we have 50 psi, 50. 
These engines should have about 150 to 160 around there. That should be the mark. We have 50. I think we start to understand why the engine doesn't start. So let's check the next cylinder. Okay, and now the cylinder, the middle one. It's gonna crank the engine. <laughs> okay, so we have 40 psi on this one, even worse than the other one. Okay, and last one but not least. We have again, well, between 40 and 50. Uh, PSI's so as you can see so I think I'm not gonna go any further this engine is gonna have to come out to understand why there's no compression um, definitely the camshaft is rotating uh, so just in case so I've uh, had this opened and uh, crank and I can see the crankshaft rotating so either the engine is completely out of time um, or, um, uh, well, go figure, maybe steam seals, maybe pistons, maybe, maybe don't know, but that's not going to be for me. Uh, I just don't understand, uh, as I said, there is signs, definitely signs, this engine has been out, uh, recently, even the bolts in there, you can see they have been touched recently, so don't, don't really know. If it was an engine replacement, if it was an attempt to fix this, well, there's no compression, that there is no doubts. And I think that's gonna be it for this video. So yeah, uh, the car is gonna have to go back. Uh, unfortunately, you're not gonna see it running, uh, at least now. Uh, it's a, a really a non-fix, but we diagnosed the problem, and I think that's also important. Um, still, I'm gonna share this with you, for you guys maybe to I don't know, just to watch it, to understand uh, how to test things. Hopefully it makes sense the way I did it. Um, and that's going to be it for this video, guys. So, with no further ado, let's go to end this. Guys, hope there's, hope there's some information here on this video. You guys going to find it useful, whatever. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you guys still have any questions or any comments, uh, by all means, put them in the description below. And like always, thanks for watching.